This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 621. Tuesdays, we've been talking professionalized wrestling in celebration of the sport of professional wrestling. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, coming at you from the Sorgatron Media Studios here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And with me, I got the crew. First of all, he's the only one of the Mayhemers with a future endeavor letter from the WWE. He's coming at us from Poo, Kipsy, New York. He is mad, Mike. And contrary to popular belief, I do not run the Wrestling Mayhem show. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> and also, co host on the newly returning next week Lucha Underground podcast, name oh. yet to be revealed. Oh, uh, if, if, if. Oh. Guys, I'm so excited. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We'll talk, I, about, I that. Just, we'll talk about We that. should just call it Lucha Gasm because honestly, Ooh, I like that's, that. That's what it's going to be. I like that. Oh, dear. Lucha um, Gasm. I might have had a name for it, and I realized somebody has a very similar name already in the podcast world, so I don't want to do that anymore. So, anyways, um, and also with us, he is. Uh, He's a proprietor of Dark Force Studios downstairs. I can say that now. Yeah. He is Larry. Hi. 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 You can check out that at darkforgestudios.co to see what Larry actually does in his spare time. Yes. In my spare time. And wonder who the hell. <laughs> in my spare time. <laughs> in his spare time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But this is your, is your Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can check out everything at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Thank you to our friend Basic Sickness for the intro music for this and the Indie Mayhem Show. Uh, hit us up at that email address. Good, Good time. time. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, 412-206-WMS0 and the, if you, is the hotline. And you can hit us up at Mayhem Show on the Twitter, Wrestling Mayhem Show on the Facebook as well. And just looking up something real quick to show you in a moment. Uh, you can also please subscribe to the show in, iTunes, no, in podcast form in Apple Music, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio. Oh, that's going to mess up with my flow so much. Um <laughs> Thanks, Alex Cars. Uh, Google Play Music Podcast as well. A video version of the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook and YouTube page. And also episodes showing up on the Twitch.tv Sorgatron Media page and the Indie Mayhem Show on the Indie Wrestling.us uh, Twitch uh, page as well as well as that website and also we are here live every tuesday at 9 p.m eastern you can join us on the facebook page you can join the wrestling man show facebook group a lot of great conversation there a lot of stories we have in our rundown are from that group and things that you guys have stared have stared have shared all week long i need to take a little sip of my rock and rye and oh i'm almost out <laughs> and we move on uh you can also thank you to our streaming partners over at the 405 uh, radio uh, 405media.com that's been streaming us uh, every midnight eastern time 9 p.m pacific so you can nod off to the sweet sounds of mayhem and thank you so much to our patreon supporters some big news here with this uh and thank you to uh, our awesome patrons first of all the fan of the show one dollar level Bo diggity Woo. Woo. as well as ed burke bobby fg town tina keys the matthew and jennifer carlin foundation for podcast betterment at the pocky club five dollar level occupy pro wrestling christopher bishop heel bradley and doc remedy at the pizza club ten dollar level billy johnson and jd jones and today we had a little bit of fun so we've been talking about we we have some giveaways now and and originally i was just gonna do like a you know, random number genu generator to figure out which of the patroners, uh, the people that pledged for the month of July um, that just came through, uh, and who was going to win this poster, who, who we're going to deliver this to, and 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 and, and producer Missy and I uh, uh, collaborated on an idea, 
And we 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 decided to do it the most scientific way possible. We took the list of Patreoners, we booted up WWE 2K16, and we had the Patreoners fight it out with AI-controlled representation. That's a big E, Ed Burke almost getting thrown out. That's Doc Remedy, Adam Rose fighting away there. Tina Keys, Finn Balor just body slammed. Who is that? Oh, Big Cass, which was uh, Christopher Bishop. Uh, so the the big Christopher Bishop in there represented. But huh. in, you can see this on our Twitch page at Sorgatron Media uh, Twitch page. The entire stream, I commented. I commented and eat, ate, ate tacos to prove that I was not influencing what was going on, and it was a it was a, an embattled uh, situation which came to down to uh, the Undertaker representing Billy Johnson <laughs> and Heel Bradley represented by Simon Gotch, and after oh. a hard hard fought thing, oh, no. uh, I was uh, at one point rooting for Ultimate Warrior, Ultimate Dave Podner, uh, but it did come down to your winner. Uh, is Heel Simon Gotch. So, Heel Bradley, you are the winner of the skyscraper with Dwayne The Rock Johnson movie poster there. Uh, I'll be, I'm sure I'll see you at IWC this weekend, and we'll do the official handoff. And uh, you guys can take a look at that and let us know what you think. And, of course, um, if you if you like how we did it, you know, you never know. Uh, you, we can do, We can have a Patreon rumble every month. Yes, Sorry, Mike. My, my I, Mike? I, I love this. You love this? <laughs> I love this. In fact, I I think mainstream Matt should incorporate this for Patreon and the bank. Mm -hmm. And order of elimination is the order of who goes during Patreon and the bank for Mayhem Mania. There you go. There you go. We did it based on like kind of reverse order of like the the higher you were, uh, like the later number you got. So, so kind of, it, later, later entry number later doesn't entry, matter. Yeah, it, it, no, it doesn't. All right, number one 30 number did one, not win. One to number 30. I think I said that. Well, the, the Patreon prize for next month is going to be this poster over here. Let me get it on the air. Oh, so man. This poster, it is, it is the most recent <laughs> Blockers movie, which was hilarious, by the way. It's got John Cena on there. That guy, <laughs> that ass, and it, it, it's got, and it's got that guy, that asshole from Suicide Squad and a bunch of attractive people. Uh, so you too, if you're a Patreon supporter, pledge for this next month by the end of the month here, uh, pledging for uh, July's Patreon. Uh, if you're a part of that, you will be in the next Patreon Rumble for the blockers. Um, parents can be such blockers, and it's two sided. It's like the other ones. These are these are nice ones. Uh, Video Rob hooked us up with these. So so you can have regular John Cena, and then you can have Mirror Universe John Cena. Uh, depending on if you put it on your window as well. So thank you so much for uh, Video Rob for uh, contributing these. Thank you to everybody that supports us. Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show if you want to be part of the next Patreon Rumble here uh, at the beginning of July. I think we found a new Mayhem Show tradition. It's a good thing so many professional wrestlers have translated to acting. <laughs> yes. And we got this is this is this is number two of three posters we have to give away that with wrestlers on them. Wait, so. is the third one Hotel Artemis? Uh no, who's in that? Batista. No way. We yeah. have to get one now. <laughs> no, I didn't know about that. No, the third yeah. one. Uh next no, I'm not gonna reveal who next month's is. Is it See No Evil with Kane? No, no, it isn't. It's a more is recent it, movie. The Marine is Five? It no. I wish we got a Marine 5 poster. Jeez. Sorg, is it Infinity War? It's not Infinity War. I would have Damn given it. that away by now. You would have kept that. Don't lie. Also, I would have kept that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I need to figure out an equally awesome way to give away posters for awesome cast. Is so. it Jumanji? No, it's not Jumanji, but you're Damn close. Uh, so anyways. <laughs> uh, yeah, has there, wait. Has there been a movie with a wrestler released every month this year? <laughs> Probably. Honestly, probably. Producer Missy is approaching me right now. What's going on? Do you want to talk into that mic over there? We can turn that on. Is it is it switched on? Or you you have something to say that you walked all the way across the room to do this. Hugh Bradley. Yes. Just found out on Twitter that he won. <laughs> Did he realize how he won? Um, considering the fact that the tweet that I put out there said how he won. Oh, yeah. As Simon <laughs> Gosh. Oh, I didn't put that in there. Oh. So hopefully he'll tune into the show and we can, you know. Well, I hope so if he contributes on Patreon. <laughs> yeah, so, but. 
just oh, that's you amazing. Know that we had so much fun doing that. But anyways, so much going on. Um, a lot of stuff going on this week. First of all, CM Punk is okay, you guys. I know you're worried about him, Mad Mike, with the trial going oh, on. Oh yeah, I'm I mean, super concerned. You're super, uh, of course. Right, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me exactly show my level of concern for CM Punk. Wait, you have to hold it for a few seconds because I can't see it. It's delayed. Yay. <laughs> no, I think you could hear that. Um, but anyways. <laughs> yeah, so there was a jury, uh, CM Punk and Colt Cabana. I love that they never at any point in this Bleacher Report article refer to by their real names as they would in the, like, although I would love if the jury, like, actually just referred to them as CM Punk and Colt Cabana just in the, in the <laughs> long run. Like, uh, that would be okay. Uh, they were being sued by uh, Dr. Christopher Amon. Amon? Amon? Amon. Amon. Really? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, he was a WWE doctor. Um, uh, if you listen to the November uh, 2014 uh, podcast where CM Punk let it all hang out uh, over his displeasures with the WWE after he uh, unceremoniously left us after the Royal Rumble here at Pittsburgh. I'm sorry. We're sorry, Punk. Um, uh, it was a defamation suit um, looking for uh, seeking $4 million plus in damages. Holy crap. Uh, and uh, the way the... the <laughs> The um, the uh, the uh, the uh, the the doc the, the, the it was it was thrown out basically, um, as far as that goes. So which is good now. CM Punk's uh, uh clear for his appearance he's, in he's UFC. Free to get punched in the face. Free to get punched in the face again as he's gonna be um um coming back um to the UFC. Oh, this the article does not that- have that date. I think is no, it this it, weekend? It's this Saturday. This Saturday. Oh, yeah, no. so if you have five minutes to kill, you can watch CM Punk's match twice. Five. five. <laughs> I'm going to be busy. I'm sure it'll be on YouTube. Yeah. I will Sword, be busy. Last, last time you could see it all in a GIF. That is true. <laughs> that was. That, that's, that's a fact. That that's is. how I watched the first CM Punk UFC fight. We, Chachi, I literally just saw a GIF of it. So, so. That was the last one Chachi picked up for UFC. <laughs> I think a lot of us went over to his apartment and like he, he got it. And it was one of those. It, it was kind of like the WWE app, but you had to pay like a hundred bucks for the pay-per-view. To, Whoa. It, it, yeah. Oh, no. UFC Whoa. pay-per-views are fucking yeah, you, incredible. That's why I go to Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah. Yeah. Big plug. Um, so he, he paid like a hundred bucks through the WWE Network type app on his PlayStation but he got a hat. I need to find out if he actually ever got that hat. Because I, I told him, I told him I'd give him an extra five bucks, which I did, if he let me borrow the hat, have a turn with the hat. Because yeah. that's like a, if he just says a $50 hat, that was a $50 pay-per-view. You're okay. Right? No. 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 Nope. no. Oh, nope. no, no. That wasn't the one. It was the Conor McGregor one that he got. That's right. That, oh, the, that boxing, was, the boxing. That, that was, was a short match, the too. The McGregor Floyd Mayweather one. Um. Yeah. Well, well no, a little longer no, than no, that was a long match that went like third uh, ten rounds. Ten, it went a few. Yeah. Yeah. It, it went that. I saw that in a bar. That went. A, <laughs> that went a while. But anyways, when I know he did get the CM Punk one as well. Uh. So yeah, we'll be busy for that one. We got a little something called IWC Super Indie and RWA going on at night back to back. So well, um, sword. Lucky for you, Punk's match probably won't be on until one a.m. Oh, good. We can still catch it. Well, we can just drop into the Pramani Brothers and uh, see if we can grab it. Or just go on Periscope. Street. It'll probably be on or Periscope. <laughs> They're really good at throwing this Twitch. on Periscope. Um, but no, I, I, I thought, I mean, I, I think I, this doesn't seem like a defamation. I mean, it, it didn't seem like anything he said in there while he was very angry. And probably said he's a moron a lot. Yeah. I don't think it's really anything that stuck out as far as that goes. Um, as far as her and his reputation there. But there it is. I, I don't know if this is... I don't think it means anything for a punk comeback or anything like that. He's still this taking- just goes to prove you that if you're angry and white, you can talk about anyone you want. Oh, wow. Okay, moving on. Next um, topic. I'm, <laughs> just saying, geez. I'm just saying that that's the moral of the story. Let's touch base with our non-wrestling <laughs> wrestling news. Um, there's an update, update on the XFL this week. Um, the commissioner and CEO uh. was named, and he says it's a passion project. Is a, a guy that uh, worked with the NCAA, and again, I am not a sports ball person, so this doesn't uh, that's mean a not, whole lot. That's not a 
good sign. No, that's not a great sign, is it? <laughs> because no. they're under a lot of scrutiny these days. I, I I saw, I think it was Brandon Stroud tweeted, like, how did Vince McMahon find his own Mike Pence for the X, for the XFL? Oh, jeez. Because <laughs> he looks exactly like Mike Pence. Oh, jeez. Um, but uh, so there you go. Uh, XFL moving forward. XFL is going to fail. Yep. It's going to fail so hard because there's another alternate football league that's coming out a year before that's getting all really big name coaches and a few older big name players. In what What is this? It, the AAF or something like that. AAF. So is it a real yeah. football? Uh, I don't believe so. No, no, no. I'm serious. Well, funny? It, it's not arena football. Oh. Um, Arena is yeah. fuck. Arena is fuck, yo. No, uh, but no, the XFL is gonna fail spectacularly. I don't even think it's gonna happen. You know what that means? The WWE app monthly cost is gonna go up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. For yeah. All that money. You, you know gotta make up be for that twenty million dollars. An XFL football. Game. An XFL fo- what? If they make, they should make an XFL football game instead. And just have teams of former wrestlers. Yeah, I think no, that's I'm a great serious. idea. They have all the licensing rights. Yeah, make it like NFL Blitz. It's okay. like it's like the, it's like watching the Longest Yard live. Yes, exactly, exactly. Like yeah. you can have you can have Kevin Nash on hormone therapy. It'll be great. Kali, just Kali. killing people. Is this under like this, racist Stone Cold Steve Austin? This is not under WWE's banner. This, no. is, this is not under the nope. same company. Like they, he formed it's under it's under Alpha Entertainment. Alpha Entertainment, which is an entirely separate company, which XFL originally was under the WWE like corporate yes. banner, right? Yeah. It's like I, I, I you know, WBF, the World Bodybuilding Federation, was under the Titan Sports, which is what WW World Wrestling Entertainment Inc. used to be, right? Yeah. Um when I worked at WWE we almost had to log XFL games. Ooh, <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Wouldn't it be amazing if they just... We were actually those... looking forward to it. We were actually looking forward to it. Uh, wouldn't it be something if, as part of the synergy, when XFL relaunches, they do put those games on WWE Network? I would not be surprised. Yeah. Yeah, they're sitting on I those. I would not be surprised at all. There's enough... Especially like those first few things where they like it was the Saturday night games and they had the crossovers and the rock in the locker room with cheerleaders the rock or was something. There, Jesse the Body Ventura yeah, was there. Yeah. Jim Ross was on commentary. So, like, JR JR and Lawler were on commentary, weren't they? No. No, it was Ross no. and it was J- it was JR and then a and then a football guy. Hmm. It, 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 they never had two WWE commentators on at the same time. That's probably for the best. Yes. <laughs> so um, but geez, I don't know. I, you know, it 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 kind of boggles my mind because the Twitter comes up every once in a while, and it's those, hey, what do you think should change for football? And da 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 da, like like the whole listening to the fans concept here. But it's being presented in the we don't know what this is yet. Tell <laughs> us, no, tell you know, us how I, to not be unsuccessful this time. Yeah, Which exactly doesn't seem like a business plan to me. No, it doesn't. So I gotta be honest. I'm probably just gonna keep watching New Japan instead. Instead of XFL. Yes. What if New Japan? What if New Japan did a football? If they were like, one of the teams, that'd be that'd be great. <laughs> New Japan had its own team. Like have, XFL? have a SmackDown team, a Ring of Honor team. A... They could call their defensive line the Bullet Club. Oh. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> yeah. No, that's where it falls apart. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit, uh, Larry. Did you watch the original XFL by chance? Fuck no. No. <laughs> Fuck no. Like not even a little no. bit. Not Larry, even out of curiosity. No. Tommy Maddox fan? Sorry. Uh, Tommy Maddox? Nope. I mean, he's he's only, you know, has a Super Bowl ring with its Pittsburgh Steelers. I don't And I, an I don't XFL know. championship. The only quarterback to have. Ask that. me if I watched the NFL back then. Okay, that's true too. <laughs> or, I'm from or, Michigan where they root for the Lions. Mm. So oh. no, I didn't watch football. Watch them every up. <laughs> I <laughs> guarantee, I I will guarantee this: if the XFL does go through, that winning team will definitely be at the White House. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, wait! By oh. the time it comes out, will we even have the same? 
Yeah. Who the fuck yeah. knows? Yeah, that's true too. Maybe. That's, a, that, that's for political mayhem. Who the fuck knows? Uh, yeah, Tina's saying the USA UFC uh, Fight Pass app was the uh, one that we were we were referring to early. Um, former Mountaineer as well. <laughs> uh, but anyways, jeez. Uh, so your non wrestling wrestling news was a lot of fun. Um, I, I mean, but it, it it's interesting. And wasn't there something about Alpha? Wasn't Alpha supposed to supposedly get into like potentially MMA as well? Like, wasn't that one of the? I don't know bits of it. No, it's 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 literally bullshit. <laughs> it's literally bullshit. It's like it, it, it's that it's global thing. force it's wrestling. Like, it's global until force it, wrestling until it happens. It's global force wrestling. Hey, but there's an app for that now. So yeah, that's great, and that app steals your password information. Oh, that's not all. That's questionable with that situation. Oh, I know, but that's that. Isn't that enough? <laughs> oh, you should hear some other stuff that they're doing. Uh, oh, I want to hear it. Tell I want to tell you off air. No, tell I us on no, air. No, no, I can't. Come tell you on. Air. I can't tell you that on air, but I can tell you about some delicious friends of ours. <laughs> Our good friends at Slice on Broadway supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with perfect pepperoni pizza right here up the street in uh, in Beachview on Broadway, as well as PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates where I hear they play sports ball over there. Uh, the East End, where all the fancy people like Google are. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and and Main Street down in Carnegie, PA. Hey, Alex Cars was on the awesome cast earlier, and he had a really good idea. Do you have a Broadway in your town and you're not in Pittsburgh? I, I want you to go to your Broadway Avenue, wherever you may reside, because most towns have one. Find an empty storefront, way with one of those leasing signs out front, Take a picture of it and then tweet at PGH underscore slice and say, hey, <laughs> this would be a good place for a slice on Broadway here on Broadway in enter my hometown here. Uh, so I think it's Poughkeepsie, gonna be, New York in Poughke- like, say, there's Poughkeepsie, no bro- New York. There is no Broadway. In you can petition to have the street name changed. There you go. You can put that in the tweet, too. Alex has a Broadway down there in Long Beach, California, and he found a storefront and I think he tweeted them and they liked it, right? So, so, so obviously, Slice on Broadway is doing good. They're expanding all across and outside of the great city of Pittsburgh. And maybe they can expand to your town too. Just help them out. Help I mean, them I'm out sure, a little bit. I'm sure there's somewhere on Broadway in New York City that would welcome a pizza place. <laughs> yes. Yes. Because I don't think New York City has ever turned down any application for a pizza place ever nope. as a rule. Except for California Pizza Kitchen, because that's not real pizza. Those sons of bitches. <laughs> it's not real pizza. It's not. Neither is Chicago. It is so hard whoa, to find. Whoa! whoa. No, it's not we're not, talking, po- we're not talking politics, all right? That looks like a delicious-looking casserole, you can but say no your, pizza. You can send your, your uh, hate messages uh, to... Oh, Fuck. bring it on. At Mad Mike 4883. But Mad Mike uh, eats New York pizza at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Yeah. That works. That works. That will be yeah. a functioning address you can use. But in the meantime, <laughs> you can say hello to our friends at SliceOnBroadway.com and support them. And please don't kick the door down. Thank you them for supporting the door this in. show. They will not steal kick your login the information. In. They will not steal your login information when you order <laughs> online with them. <laughs> Holy crap. How do I give like a slice at it and I run out of breath? <laughs> because the pizza is breathtaking, Sorg. Ah, Boom! Wow! Boom! Brought wow. it around. Brought Jeez. it around. Mike? Yeah? I know you've been following this. I know you've been worried about this. I know you've been concerned for everybody involved in this. Oh, dear. Is this new? Wait, this is new in this last week. I, 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 we didn't talk I about this already? I don't know what we're talking about, Sork. That's because Nikki and John are back together again. Oh, Who? Nikki and John are back together again, you guys. Right, um, love is real. Love is real. Love is real. It's just the people in love are fake. Oh. Um, no, as I said before, love is real. It's just heal as shit. 
true. Mike, are you okay? We're worried about I'm fine. you. Mike, we're I'm a little worried great. about you over there. I'm great, Sword. <laughs> okay. No, I, okay. I've, watched the, I've watched the first two episodes of Total Bells. Okay. All right. Okay, okay. I didn't know it was a personal reference. Like, no, I was no, checking on no. you. Personally, we worry about Matt you Mike down is doing here. Fantastic. Matt Mike, you're talking. Matt Mike is, no, no, trust me. I, I would sorg I was able to bring my girlfriend to NXT and she enjoys the Velveteen Dream. She's a fucking keeper. There you go. <laughs> I got there her a go. Velveteen Dream t-shirt and she wore it. Uh, that a keeper. Then keeper. in that case, Mad Mike. Yes. Because uh-huh. obviously it's been a rocky run here. They've taken another shot of it. What is oh, Mad yeah. Mike's love advice for John and Nikki? I'm sure Just they're shut listening. Shut the fuck up and get married. <laughs> my advice is get new writers. Get new writers. <laughs> that too. That's my that that's too. my advice. The... And also, Nikki Bella needs to work on her dictation because every time she says "feel," it sounds like Phil. Well, that's probably the writers. No, no, that's it, that's. It, it could just, be typos. That's just it could be them. typos. No, that that's just them. You don't know what they're putting on the teleprompter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but no. The, the first two episodes of the Total Ooh. Bells, you can clearly see that they're going to get back together. Tina has something on the opposite spectrum of this stupid shit we're talking about. Good. Yes. She asked, has I, anyone seen the Mauro Ronaldo documentary? I am it not. Is on my, it is on my to-do list. It is. It is. I've seen the, I've seen the trailer. Um, if you haven't, so they're doing a documentary on Mauro Ronaldo. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Uh, everything's just blending together right now. Um, but even just watch the trailer for this thing because it is incredible. They talk about you know him as an announcer for for sports, for wrestling, for boxing, for MMA, and and but it's very it's very big around his bipolar disorder actually, which is you know we talk it's about called, him. At, he's called the bipolar rock and roller. Yeah, and it, and it's. Yeah. It's led to, you know, the stories we talked about before about him having issues and, and getting off SmackDown, of course, now on NXT and doing a fantastic job there. Um, but it definitely struck home because actually even here locally, because um, a, a friend of mine actually finally uh, came out with his bipolar disorder, somebody that I've been working with since 2011. Um, and I had no idea. Uh, so it, it kind of hit home for that and some of the mental health things that we've been doing around uh, our friends at FishingWithoutBait.com. Uh, it, it's a Showtime documentary. It looks incredible. It, it, it's it's Mauro kind of talking about the disease in his own words, um, and again, just kind of a, a really interesting look at his career. And if you didn't know, you know, it was always it was interesting to watch. You know, him calling a, a boxing match several months ago, as we mentioned before, with uh, uh, McGregor and, and Floyd, um, and 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 to see like how much more of his career was around professional sports and wrestling and and what exactly he deals with around that um is is pretty incredible so i'm I'm looking for the opportunity hopefully i can grab a free trial or turn it on on amazon or something just to watch this documentary or something because i think it's definitely worth i'm gonna i'll definitely watch it before next week's show it's something that's been on my radar just haven't had a chance to get he had a really good uh promo interview with sam roberts about this documentary uh i think it was last week or a week before Mm-hmm. Uh, just if for people who want to get like a pretty good feel for it beforehand, because it's a really really raw documentary. Like, yeah, it, he he's not pulling any punches, you yeah. know, like they do with like say like the Andre documentary or I, any I mean, other. It's ones. very it's very big. It's it's very much a a hey shit is going on. Um, uh, he also cleared the air on what happened on why he's not on SmackDown and actually uh, cleared JBL according to Tina as well. Um, Really? May have said, may have said that. I don't know if I necessarily <laughs> buy that. Well, that's what he's, that's what she's saying. So, no, uh, I know, and I'm sure, I'm sure that's what Morrow's saying too. But Morrow still works with the company, so he. I, I'd be curious JBL. to see, you know, what the backstory is on that, because of course, you know, I mean, if, as, I always, I always say it takes an interesting, it takes an interesting personality to get into something like professional wrestling, or you can say the same thing about professional sports, about acting, yeah, anything in inter- the entertainment field. Field, I often, you know. Uh, in and you know there was a there was a story I was watching about the NBA and how somebody had um was it depression or or, or OCD I think and it was literally like the NBA just didn't know how to handle it right yeah. in those situations most major sports don't and they don't because it's it's not like you have an injury you don't make practice 
hey, you, you're going through some shit in your head that you can't make mm-hmm. practice and perform, right? Um, so, it, and that's kind of the things that are being uh, trying to be brought to light now and and destigmatized, and and that definitely applies to things like here in in the professionally wrestling world as well. Um, I've seen posts from wrestlers that we know that talk about whatever they go through because some of them have those kinds of issues as well. Uh, and, you know, publicly or privately going through those, you know. And and for some, you know, that's a version of release. You know, some it kind of enhances that, you know. Um, but they still have to deal with stuff around all the crazy stuff that happens around this business, I guess. So, no, it, yeah, it's definitely on my radar too. Maybe that'll be our homework assignment. Hey, guys, I'm sure you can get a Showtime free trial somewhere out there. So maybe we'll post one if we know about it so you can catch the talk too. So, and we're not promoting other means, Mike. Just putting that out there. No, I wasn't going to say anything. Just, just saying. Just saying. I wasn't going to say anything. Completely legal modes that make Morrow uh, uh, look better. Uh, we talked about the Bumblebee trailer on gold. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so much about John Cena. It's more about me not hating a Transformers movie, hopefully. You you can watch gold for those reactions as, as well here. Um, so... Um, so generally, other than that, guys, mostly I've watched Impact Wrestling this past week. <laughs> uh, it's Byron. strangely the one I'm I'm a week behind on SmackDown. I'm half an episode behind on 205. I'm a month behind on NXT, but I'm keeping Sword, up on Impact because it expires be after a week. I, Sword, you need to be watching some NXT. I know. Well, I'm gonna have a Jesus. nice block of four hours that I'm gonna love. I gotta be honest. I have NXT's been awesome. I haven't watched WWE in so long. I thought that Money in the Bank already happened. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It just feels. I've just been long. watching New Japan. <laughs> How has New Japan been going? It's for been you? going great. I know we keep trying to figure out if we can seriously fit in watching the New Japan show yep. on 3 a.m. Saturday morning. Dominion. And I don't think we can like, we can swing this. I don't man. think it's gonna work. It's, well, maybe have, maybe Sunday. Like, we'll, when we'll are see. we gonna sleep? Yeah. So, so we're considering this for the week. For, for those of you who don't need to do anything Saturday at 3 a.m. on Saturday, uh, go on New Japan World uh, for 999 yen. Mm-hmm. You can see uh, Kenny Omega and Okada have a two out of three falls match. No Jeez. time limit. Jeez. Uh, and for up? those of you who wake up at normal times, that match will still be going on. <laughs> let me pull. Let me pull up the rest of the card because it was a really good card. Uh, By the way, otherwise in Impact Wrestling, um, Sammy versus Eddie in the woods happens on Thursday. Sword. Sword. I, wait, wait, I want to go. I want to go back to this because I I heard them doing the promo <sighs> on this. Other than Eddie Eddie Edwards saying that he was going to just they like listen, babe. Like his pro, this his talk he's having with his wife in the backstage is listen, babe. I'm just going to go out to the woods. I'm going to murder Sammy Callahan, and then we're good. All right. You know, that was the conversation. No, those words. Here's the thing if they were going to do something that extreme, they would have let something more happen at Impact versus Lucha. Impact versus Lucha had a match with Sammy Sammy Callahan and Eddie Edwards. It ended with, with Don Callis literally throwing in a towel. Yes. Is that the House of Hardcore one from a few weeks ago? No, that, that was, was a different one. Impact vs. Lucha. Because they had a street fight at a House of Hardcore that was on Impact a couple weeks ago. Uh, did that end with someone throwing in a towel too? No, but there was a cameo by Marcus Mann and Joe Dabrowski. Oh, well, that's lovely. They but, were not. They, they were uh, Joe. Joe. Uh, <laughs> he, they were commentating over them, unfortunately. So you only saw them sitting at a table, but still. All right, Sork, uh, Sork, we need to talk about Ricochet. Ricochet. What is Ricochet? I keep seeing tweets about how Ricochet has been amazing lately. Ricochet has been amazing! <laughs> Why have you not been watching NXT? I've been watching New Japan instead. Because I can't download it for the plane. Larry, I don't why. blame you. New Japan is, is they also at have least flippy, on par people. with NXT. Sword, you're watching Impact. <laughs> I'm trying to get you to better your life. I'm, I'm trying to... Is this, is this an intervention now? <laughs> it's always an intervention with Impact. Sword, this is how it starts. Man, it's not that Trust bad. Trust me. Slippery slope. I kind of like it, man. 
Sorg, like it's not the most amazing thing ever, but it's, Sorg, it's I'm nice. worried about you. Have something with a different vibe. There's you something about Josh of, Matthews' voice. It's helping me. <laughs> it, it, it's more than Don Callis. Um, I can play. I can hit the 30 second skip button whenever they go to like the the back into the 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 center where they do a promo about the match you're going to have as late, as if it's a pay per view pre a promo. That should be before the show in a half hour block, but instead we intermixed it during the show, so that's kind of weird. Um, but once you get past all of that, and Sorg. then the, the repeated Moose promos, yes, Moose, I know who the fuck you are. I don't need to learn about it three times during a show. Thank Sorg. you. Sorg, this is how they get you. I'm trying to help you. This, and then you they need to clip. stop. They, show, they showed a clip. They, they had the casket match. They had the last rights match. Between Sue Young, who I'm a huge fan of, and Allie, Dark Allie, who was channeling Rosemary. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, I, I, I enjoyed her Death Bunny shirt. Uh, and afterwards, they showed a clip of the Abyss Sting match. You know this oh, one, Mike. no. Yes. Sorg. With the Sorg. plastic candle, candelabras on the ring post and everything. Sorg, let's talk about NXT. So oh, you could man. watch let's that, sort. Hold on, hold on. You could watch could that, could watch Sorg, that. Or you could watch... Naito versus Jericho for the Intercontinental title. Oh, I'm staying well, that up hasn't Saturday. happened yet. That's happening on that, Saturday. That hasn't happened yet, though. No. I'm telling, I'm telling Sorg something he can watch right effing now. Camp WWE. You, I gotta watch you Camp can tell WWE. I'm being serious because I didn't even curse. <laughs> Wait a minute. Does that mean you haven't been serious this whole time? I'm never. He hasn't serious. said a serious thing in five years. <laughs> I know. Ah! <laughs> Sorg. Sorg. <laughs> I said I said that so you can clip it out and it's safe for kids. Okay. <laughs> That's yes. Oh Sorg. well, oh, for the and then for the 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 uh, Saturday morning mayhem. Um, Tina has a child. Show. He can li- he can listen to that one clip. Sorg, there you go. Sorg, you need to watch the Ricochet Velveteen Dream feud. It is the most amazing feud going on in WWE right now. That doesn't have a friend of the show in it. I, I did see him do a very fancy front flip. Uh, yes. On Instagram. Ricochet literally like Velveteen Dream came out after a match with Ricochet versus Donovan Dijak. First of all. Who? Yeah. No, that but, Donovan Dijak. Oh, Donovan Dijak. Dude. Diamond, yes. He's awesome. Yes. Watch NXT, Sorg. Anyway. I'm so glad he's popping up. Then, what do they call him now? Velvet, What's his name? Velveteen Dream. Came, um, Is he Dijak? Something Dijak, I forget the first name. Oh, cool. But um, but then Velveteen Dream came out and basically was getting in Ricochet's face and said, anything you can do, the Dream can do better. Ricochet took that to be a challenge, literally jumped and flipped over the top rope, landed on his feet, walked two steps up the ramp and said, show me. <laughs> and then he dropped the mic. This is amazing. I yes! just, I just love that Velveteen Dream's going by the Dream now. Yes, it's perfect. <laughs> Velveteen Dream is like I put him above EC3 right now. Whoa! Yes. Whoa. You heard that correctly. What did you see? Did you see the featured um, NXT matches coming up at the uh, the UK tournament? Yes, so you need to be watching NXT. Yeah, I definitely need to catch it, up by it's, then. It's Dream and EC3 versus Alistair Black and Ricochet. What the fuck are you watching Impact for? <laughs> I, I, know you're I, think you, I think you need to get Shirley Doe on next week so that they can just like team up on you. Actually, actually, we're going to have to get Shirley Doe on very soon because where he's is. going to tell you the same thing. We do need. He's going to tell you to stop watching Impact. Okay. All right. You may believe you may believe it more when a larger, angrier man yells at you not to do. <laughs> well, I'll meet him soon because I put in Diz for a couple of Xbox games when he was Facebook living his yard sale the other day. So <laughs> that's a weird thing to say, right? That, that that's a great concept. <laughs> you know, Sorg, if it's not in the context of this show, that would be a weird thing to say. But here, it makes total sense. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'm just like, <laughs> it makes total sense. I was just watching the 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 yard sale video for a, a man that you know the first match I saw him and he was wearing an eye patch because it was stabbed out by Corey Graves with a sword in a cage match the month before. 
<laughs> but I'm gonna pick up some Xbox games from his uh from his yard sale. That's that's cool too. Just um, buy another copy of Rumble Roses. <laughs> Dude, I need a Twitch live for Rumble Roses. This is so freaking ridiculous. <laughs> I wish Rumble Roses was Xbox One compatible. I know, I was, right? Oh, there's a PlayStation 2 I, copy. I, I think play. there's a 360 version too. It's it's so it's so demeaning to women. I wanna, but I it's so play interesting to play. I, I feel, well, it had, it I had feel horrible system. liking it. It had a it had a good fight system. It did have a good fight system. It also had impossible physics for other things. But still, oh, it's it's course. it's a part of history, right? <laughs> Are you okay over there, Larry? Uh, yeah. Or stop watching him, I'm, guys. I'm, if you want some responsible people to talk about your stuff <laughs> on a podcast format, you can. Well, you can you can come to this show for other reasons too. Uh, we have an advertising, of course. Thanks to our friends in Slice, they're supporting the show, Occupy Pro Wrestling, and others. Uh, but you guys can uh, uh, message the responsible person on this show, behind the scenes producer Missy, and we'll set you up with some interesting new ideas for your promotions out there. Uh, touch base with our. I mean, we're talking with people uh, on the West Coast, on the East Coast, in the middle. Uh, across the shining sea uh, as well uh, out there. If you want to get your message out there around professional wrestling or otherwise, please hit us up at info at sorgatronmedia.com for more information for Wrestling Mayhem Show advertising and other opportunities around the Sorgatron Media Network and at IndieWrestling.us if you want to get in front of some wrestling fans, especially around the Pittsburgh area and online. And we will be back. Wait, before we go, I do want to address, because it, just so I can put a button on our conversation, um, yes, Alex uh, Miller, Lucha Underground over Impact Wrestling. I may be sick, but I'm not insane. Getting punched in the dick over Impact Wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be back with a big question and more of not sweaty dick punking, punching punching after this. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. I wish they gave you donuts. I'm sorry for the segue. Continue. Okay. <laughs> we are back. We're making bad references. And we just, I showed a slideshow of my trip to Portland. Because Tina asked in the chat room. That's what you miss when you don't watch us live here on Facebook mm, Tuesday nights. What day is it? Uh, 9 p.m. Eastern time. It's Rusev Day. Sir. It is Rusev Day. Wait a minute. Is it? Is it? It's a new month? It's still Rusev Day. Did you see they're coming out with Happy Lana Day shirts? I was wondering if they're coming out with a calendar. But it's only like every Tuesday. Yeah, it's, it's every seventh day. Every seventh day? Yeah, it's like the Russian calendar. Every seventh uh, day is Lana Day. Oh, okay. I, you know, so is it like a combined Rusev Lana Day one and we get both of them? Well, I mean, uh, every day is Rusev Day. Every yes. seventh day is Lana Day, which, you know, doesn't speak to equality, but I'd like to think every day is Lana you Day. You know what? That's not bad for that part of the world, probably. Oh, <laughs> hashtag political mayhem show. <laughs> hey, we got a fucking new one of those. Um, we don't. <laughs> no, it was good. We there had some good conversations on that show, um, okay. and maybe we can bring up stuff like that and really get interesting. Uh, yes, we need to go to Seattle. Uh, anyways, uh, Mad Mike here, Larry, and it's time for the big question. We've been talking about love, Mike. We've uh, been talking about love, Larry. I thought we were talking about impact. We no, that was the opposite of love. Oh, I thought we were back. talking about donuts. <laughs> we were talking about donuts, actually. Um, I love donuts. In, in, in reflection of what we've been seeing lately about the will they, won't they, who wrote this shit uh, with Nikki and Johnny uh, earlier in the show, I thought, I thought our, our question of the week uh, should be somewhat in line with that. So my question of the week, the big question, if you will, you guys, please uh, tell us in the chat room your thoughts, too. Relationships have been all over uh wwe over the years and years or professional wrestling in general of course right mm -hmm. and of course sometimes they're real sometimes they're probably not what on-screen relationship from professional wrestling you wish was real life oh i got this easy i knew you would i got i this. knew you Sorry. would May Young i didn't Mark even Henry. know you were asking this question yes i wore the perfect shirt 
<laughs> What's he wearing? Oh. <laughs> Billy and Peyton, you, motherfuckers. You wish in real life that they were a couple. I'm not convinced they're not. That's true. That is true. There's some undertones there. Billy and Peyton are the best. They have never had an argument in the entire time they've been together on NXT. They support each other. They laugh at each other's jokes you can and say bad same accents. Thing about Curtis Axel and Boda Ellis. You, you know what? I'll ship that. <laughs> I, I'm okay. I'm okay with You know that what? Too. That's fine. Especially in the interest of equality. You, we can call them the B-Conics. As opposed to the Iconics. There you go. The B-Conics. There you go. But yeah, no, no. Peyton and Billy. Easy. I didn't even know you were asking this question. I just happened to wear the perfect shirt for it. There you go. Look, they have a shirt. Together. Together. It's says Peyton and Billy on the back. It's they're the best, and there's actually a really great article about Billy and Peyton on um on the Uprock site. Nice, yes, nice. There you go, the icons. Yeah, so that that that's that's my answer. That's easy. Uh, let's see. Uh, I I gotta go with that Braun and Alexa thing. From Big Smash big. Challenge. Team, Team Little, Little big. big is and even like them getting along together on the uh on uh, on the on the uh, uh ride along. Ride along, thank you. I want to say Victory Road, Road Rules, Road Trip. I I've said all, yeah. all Stop things saying Victory Road. You have you've been watching too much impact. I also watched Euro Trip last week, so <laughs> it's the old stuff. Um anyways, uh no, no, Team Little Big, I think completely like it's the like almost adorkable. A uh, couple over there, uh, so you know, it, it, you know, and kind of my favorite thread out of the mix match challenge too. Yeah, yeah, no, I it, they had way too much chemistry for it not to work. Exactly, exactly. They had way too much chemistry. Seconded only by the um, Oz. What was it, Miz, Miz and Oz, Oscar? Oscar. Uh, yeah, yeah they and, have- and, and and Team like, Little Big had more chemistry than the two couples who were actually married. That's true. That is true. Um, so, on that note, uh, Larry, do you have one? Big Show and Betty White. Because God, let's be honest, this question is ridiculous. <laughs> God, Larry, oh, come how, on. Did some, how did you somehow pick the Bart Gun of WWE relationships? Wow, it's my gift. Well, the chat room is all about this. Alex Miller out there saying Brian and Daniel Bryan and AJ Lee. Come on. Right, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go an old school one. Mm. I'm gonna go old school. George Steele and Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, that could have yeah. worked in real life. Yeah. 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 He he's a learned man. He is mm-hmm. a learned man. Mm-hmm. And as much as I love the Macho Man, and boy, you know I do, maybe we'd still have Miss Elizabeth around Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if she was with George Steele. That's true. That's true. Maybe. Just maybe. And that, you know what, while we're at it, Sensational Sherry and Zeus. (laughs) God damn it. Hey, you know what? All right. Sorg, There's a lot of my, caressing in, in those no-holes-barred promos. Cannon, in my head canon, she's the first lady in the fifth element. That just happened. That just oh, happened that works so well. Right there. That, and, and the best thing is, she does not have to change her outfits. Was it, wasn't she, like, hanging upside down from the cage in that one promo? Yes. <laughs> like, it's amazing. It's so much fun to watch. Anyways, um... Tina Keys is saying uh, Big E and Caitlyn had a potential. And this was from NXT? Yeah. Old Big E Langston days? I don't think I've seen mm-hmm. this, this era. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, it was... There was a It's back thing. when, like, you and Eamon were, like, completely all about the NXT that, that like, the rest of us couldn't watch. 
And, yeah. and it was like Derek Bateman, now EC3, and Fandango. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, yeah. And Katrina, who was, who was, uh, who was oh, on yeah. there. Maxine. Like Maxine. <laughs> yeah, Maxine. Yeah. And, and Johnny Curtis, who's now Fandango. <laughs> All the best people, by the way. Yeah, yeah. It kind of all comes around, doesn't it? Tina wins yeah. the big question. Tina, Tina. Yeah, what does Tina say? Miss Piggy and Santino. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just well, started... I didn't finish it, but I just started watching Muppets Most Wanted and definitely a more functional relationship. Um, uh, Dave Potter says Vicky and Etch. Yes. Um, Alex Miller says it's Selena Vega, Vega and Almas. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, and of course, uh, Vega uh, actually in a relationship with Austin Aries. Uh, so, yep, yep. Uh, you know, it, it's kind of interesting how these are depicted, right? Um so let us know the answer to your big question. What, uh, what you is- know what? I'll say it. I'll say it. I got one more. Okay. AJ Styles and Claire Lynch. I'll say it. I'll say it. I had hope Ooh. for those kids. Ooh. I had hope for those kids. See, Sorg, I'm what? trying to remind you that impact is horrible. Ooh. Yeah, that's how bad it can get. Claire Lynch was get out, of- get out now. Claire Lynch wasn't Chelsea Green, was it? No, it wasn't. No, that was she was. She was. She was. She was the one that that flirted with Daniel Bryan. That flirted with Daniel Bryan, like she was a wedding planner or something, was it? Yes. Yeah. No, that no. was Alicia Fox. She was like the babysitter. I, the, the, what, there was, was no baby. There's no baby. There's no. Like, no, she was a, a a therapist, I believe. Therapist. Yes. She broke up. What? What? There's breaking news oh, no. in the chat room. Oh no! I looked away for just the way Aries and Vega broke up. See, even she Love knows the impact. Real. Even she knows the impact is horrible. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oof, <laughs> Ugh. guys. Well, you know what is real? You occupy pro wrestling. You know, you know how you know love is real. Oh. Miz and Mrs. debuts yeah. next month. Yeah, it, or this month. This month, actually. <laughs> I mean, did you actually Sorry, check your gonna... watch to figure out what month it was? Yes, we're going to be going head to head with Ms. and Mrs. Oh no, we're gonna and I'm I'm gonna tell you, I may choose that show. I really hope that's going. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Does that mean we get to continue interviews for New Mad Mike? What? What? Does that mean we get to continue interviews for New Mad Mike? It started last night with Dave Ponder on the Raw wrap up. So yeah, he did okay. <laughs> he did okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, he, had, he, hey, has, he has cats. I don't know. He was hiding from me when I passed his cubicle today. Uh, so I told you he was going to. <laughs> Sorg, I'm telling you, he just puts on he just puts on headphones when he sees you coming. It was weird because I I didn't catch him, but I did run into Dan Hooven. So. Yeah. It kind of it was like I'm only allowed to see one or the other. That's a, that's Does that a mean you know I've never seen both in the same place at the same time? Oh no, they're definitely not the same people. Oh I no, <laughs> mm, I can All tell right. you that. Anyways, oh, Alex says one more. Mill and Katrina. There you go. There you go. I, yes, I, yes. I ship that. I ship that too. <laughs> Occupy Pro Wrestling is a it's a wild and crazy forum out there, and Occupy Pro Wrestling is here to make uh, uh, to look at what makes it fun, featuring articles, blogs, and a podcast that brings you interviews uh, with fellow fans. Occupy Pro Wrestling is putting the smart back in smart mark. Check it out at occupyprowrestling.com, and of course they had a great promotion last month supporting uh, autism uh, awareness. And, and the like uh, with their store over at whatamaneuver.net. Go support that and check out everything over at OccupyProWrestling.com. Power to the Smarks. It's not a quotation. I'm, I'm saying the number two with my fingers uh, because you use the letter, the number two in the Twitter handle. Power to the Smarks, our friends. OccupyProWrestling.com. Thank you for supporting the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Mad Mike? Yeah, hi. <laughs> I felt like I needed to toss to somebody, but I had nothing to toss to. So it just felt like the next logical state of this show. <laughs> All right, guys. It is time to find out. Uh, well, first, I want to give a shout out. Um, there's some really cool stuff happening this weekend if you're in the Pittsburgh area. And, of course, it'll be over on IndieWrestling.us. Uh, Super Indie is this weekend. Something that, of course, 
a lot of names have been through there. And, um, of course, a lot of those available at IndiaWrestling.us. Um, this weekend, uh, Jonathan Gresham is a part of that. Joey, Dan- uh, Joey Janella oh. is back again. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, so, and I mean, this is a tournament that's had Sam. You know, Sami Zayn, Cedric Alexander, Ray Rowe was a part of this, Johnny Gargano, um, CM Punk back in the day, Colt Cabana a few times as well. Uh, and uh, Shane Taylor from Ring of Honor is going to come back, friend of the show, taking on uh, Jack Pollock. So, I mean, this is just a little bit on the indie side, but definitely something to watch out for. Friends of the show like Gory. Ethan Page has been doing some great stuff on Impact Wrestling. Mike. Uh <laughs> And others like Chris LaRusso that's been popping up on uh, Ring of Honor, New Prospects, and Future of Honor as well. Uh, so I just want to kind of get a mention out for that because it's going to be a pretty big show happening this weekend. What? Oh, that guy looks relatively. Who's that? He, you know, if you put up, if you, you know, if I had a telestrator, I'd draw a mask on them there. And it looks, he, he oddly moves like Matanza as a part of that as well. So wait, 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 wait. Sorg. Hmm? Don't toy with my emotions like this. <laughs> what? Someone that looks like Matanza? He is going to be at Super Indy. Yes, he's in the tournament. Sorg. Jeff Cobb is in you, the tournament. You, you know what you have to do. What do I have to do? You need to get him on for Luchagasm. Lucha- <laughs> Lucha- <laughs> wait, are we running with that name? I am now. <laughs> Okay. Until we come up with something better and not taken. Yeah, yeah. I had a name I was set on, and I, I mean, realized we, it's we too could close to Lucha Icebox. Lucha Icebox, I like that. Lucha Icebox. Nobody Ice register that. that. What? All right. <laughs> For the chat room. Again, Jeff Cobb is going to be a part <laughs> of that. Uh, let's see. I learned that I want to learn. Oh, oh. No. No, 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 no. Bobby says Ethan oh, Page might go on a toy hunt. I about this. This thing happened on Twitter. Uh, Bobby of J-Town has been tweeting with Ethan Page, and they might go on a toy hunt together, apparently. Oh, and um, Bobby, this is for you in the chat room. I just watched the Funko thing last night. I learned there's actually a toy Tokyo store in New York City. Mm. Um, I'm going to go there on Monday. <laughs> so you let me know if you need anything. Hmm. Uh, but no, yeah. I, so yeah, so we're gonna run into Matanza here on Saturday. I keep forgetting Sword, about that part. You get him on Luchagasm. Well, actually, Riz and Bobby are gonna be there representing the Mayhem Show at our at our booth uh, for IndieWrestling.us. So I think you know maybe I'll I'll just leave it up to those guys to uh, grab an interview because I'm gonna be a little busy with production, unfortunately. So, but uh, you never know. You never know. <laughs> Guys, it's time to find out. And they're already rolling in the chat room. What did you learn from wrestling this week? Should I start with the chat room? Because I feel like I'm going to lose these otherwise. Um, Dave learned that Lana's weave isn't ready for Asuka and no one is ready for Ricochet. <laughs> there you go. Alex Miller, Alex Miller learned that uh, he wants to learn Ms. Jetsu. Yeah. Ms. Jitsu? Yeah, it's yeah, it's Miz's own martial art. No, of course it is. He's been wearing headbands. He's lately. a pancake bender. He's a pancake bender. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. I can't wait to watch these catch up on SmackDown. Um I learned Mad Mike used to wrestle for impact. <laughs> Mad Mikey. <laughs> he looks slightly know, different I'm, and he was slightly still shorter. Still super heavyweight. But still super heavyweight. Still super heavyweight. Yeah. Though. Mike, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? Uh, I learned that Girthquake needs to shut his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um <laughs> I learned that um Ricochet and Velveteen Dream is going to be the feud of the year. Oof. Oof. That and in a yes. year that's had Johnny Gargano and, and Tommaso Ciampa. Yep. Yep. And I still say that match at Takeover Chicago is going to steal the show. Mm. It from from a card that has Gargano versus Champa mm-hmm. in a street fight mm-hmm. and Black versus Lars Sullivan. Jeez. I still say Velveteen Dream and Ricochet are going to steal the entire damn show. Producer Missy has something to say. What'd you learn? I learned that filming ringside for wrestling at a show that you're not there for with a whole bunch of friends of the show 
is freaking amazing. <laughs> yeah, this is the second show that Missy, against my better wishes and judgment, has uh, filmed ringside for. It was for our friends at Black Diamond Wrestling that uh, just had their 15th anniversary show. Wait, 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 why is it fun? Explain. Was there pyro? There was pyro. There there, was yeah, fire. they have pyro. There so was legit fire. Yeah, they have flames, like fire towers. Fire. It was amazing. And yeah. It was super freaking hot. And then it got hotter because of fire. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, there was. There Flame was, towers got even hotter because of the fire. <laughs> yes. It was. A, there was. Sorg is going through the video. Like, so he, he's going to be going through and editing and putting everything together. Mm-hmm. But the match with DJ Z. Burr, 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 burr. Thank you. That's a clip I saw too from that show. Yes. Uh, with DJ Z. Uh, I'm, is, it J- D- is it Z, Facade, Gory, Andrew Palace, and a couple other guys? Yes. Jesus. It was crazy, yeah. but it was amazing. Like, it was absolutely amazing. Um, I absolutely saw a couple- love that match. Love the other matches, too. I mean, there was a lot of good stuff on the show, but that one in particular, I was just like, I was geeking out at ringside for that match. I, was I saw a couple excited. of gifts. Was that the match where, where DJ Z hit, like, a double springboard DDT? I don't know. I, I saw him retweet a couple of gifts over the weekend, so I wasn't sure if that, that was. Yeah, that probably was. Um, I okay. know it, it, people ask me about different things, and unfortunately, when I'm behind the camera doing my job of trying to make sure a not to die and b getting what I'm supposed to be getting, I don't always pay as much attention to it. And like yeah. that's a match that I actually want to go back and I want to watch once Sorg has it edited together <laughs> because it was a good match. Like it was fun. <laughs> there was a, a bunch of like really fun spots and everything. Colin Delaney was a part of that in a match. Uh, Shane Douglas was in there uh, as well. I think part of that match is actually even on... It Was Chris LaRusso part of the six-man match? Person that was there? There was just so many... Bo- there were just too many bodies, right? There were so many bodies. Well, they had... They started the show with a battle royal. Mm-hmm. Like, there was just a bunch of guys the very first match. It was, it was the pre-show match, but it was like, oh my god, just all these guys. Um, and like so the card, otherwise, it just was crazy. So yeah, it was it was fun. But awesome. I was trying to find Oh, I, I, learned, I learned something else from wrestling. What's that, Mike? Um, th- this goes back to our, our declaration that love is heal as fuck. Um, I saw a video from the Johnny Mundo Taya wedding. Where you know how like when wedding wedding receptions, uh, the bride and groom come out to like music and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I believe they came out to welcome to Slamtown and oh. they both did Giant Mundo's pose. <laughs> nice. I'm like hashtag wedding goals. Mm-hmm. That love is heal as fuck, and there's no way to deny it. <laughs> it's awesome. Is what? What 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 did you just send me? Uh oh. I don't know what's going on with her. Um, anyways, uh, from the chat room, uh, Bobby learned that, uh, judo is a planet and Ronda Rousey comes from there. Also, it rains upwards. Yep. Oh, for judo. Yeah. 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 I heard, I heard that too. Um, what? Oh, Phoenix, uh, uh, Sean Phoenix and Lee Moriarty were the other two in that six man tag. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wow. Brandon learned that Johnny Mundo, uh, has a new last name to try out on the, uh, uh, wrestling scene. Since he got married to Taya, he can all, he could use Valkyrie now. And with all the other names he has. Yes. Johnny Valkyrie. Yes. He's also like, he's also being Johnny ba- Blackcraft when they premiere uh, Blackcraft wrestling here in Pittsburgh mm-hmm. in, and, in August. And in September, he's going to be Johnny survivor. Yes, he is. By the way, you will get updates from me. For Survivor about how Johnny Mundo does. Sounds good, Larry. How yes. would you learn? Oh shit! Did we did we learn something from you? Uh, I uh, 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 watch New Japan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> learn Japan Japanese. Back to you, Sorg. All right, uh, guys. Please check out <laughs> IndieWrestling.us. We just talked about, uh, of course. Uh, some of the stuff like indie wrestling. Uh, I'm sorry, super indie wrestling. Yeah, <laughs> indie, re- indie, super indie. Uh, past, present, and future is a part of that site as well as uh, you'll be seeing some some stuff there from Black Diamond Wrestling. Uh, definitely already some of that uh, from the Royal A tournament a few months back. And uh, can I say, Missy, 
much more Black Diamond Wrestling will be coming down the line to IndieWrestling.us. Yeah, it's going to happen. It's going to happen one way or another uh, as far as it goes. And also, special going on, uh, heating up summer, uh, 25% off all RWA uh, digital downloads over at IndieWrestling.us with the promo code HOT2018, uh, H-O-T-2018 on checkout. You'll get 25% off any RWA titles. Some of those RWA titles, the older ones, uh, down to $2.99 as it is. And uh, you can get and uh, from there to seven ninety nine, I believe, is the price range. So you can check that out. Uh, all right, guys, and of course, coming up here, uh, Todd DeFazio, of course, uh, had to get uh, was delayed because he had something come up with another project he was working on. He will be returning later in the month. We'll be rescheduling him, but next week, another reschedule. I know there's been a lot of this lately. It's been pretty crazy. Uh, but Jake, comedian Jake Cooper, will return to the show. And I understand we're going to be getting a visit here before the end of the month with some special announcements, I believe, from Marcus Mann of Rise with a Y Wrestling. So go look for that as well. Again, our friends with the Renegade Wrestling Alliance, uh, as well as the International Wrestling Cartel, have shows this Saturday. If you're in the Saturday in the, in the Pittsburgh area, uh, you have two different flavors of wrestling to watch. Uh, check out information for that at iwcwrestling.com and rwalive.com. Mad Mike four eighty three on the Twitters. I am on the Twitters and I talk about things and stuff in wrestling. And we will be doing something about Lucha Underground next week, of Hashtag course. Luchagasm. Man, maybe we'll do that live. Uh, <laughs> something, I think. Get that sling child sword. We're going to get that sling child, and we're going to watch get at least the first one sword. live. And I don't know. We'll see what happens after that. We need a mystery science theater. Larry has, yes. he's, of course, working out of the deep bowels of Sorgatron, under Sorgatron Media Studios here with Dark Forge Studios, guys. Yep. Do you have any uh, escape room, haunted attractions, set design stuff that you need done? Or if you just want a bookcase door in your bedroom, I can do that for you, you too. Can, uh, what? Oh, I can do like secret bookcase doors. Wait, yeah. so you can like put like secret entrances? Oh, and yeah. Stuff? yeah. Oh. Yeah. Visit, um, visit darkforgestudios.co. What's that, Larry, Mark? are you building a girthquake suit in your lair? No. You did very. You... I make right now. I'm right now. Uh, I'm uh, working on some stuff for some local haunted attractions in Pittsburgh, and uh, well, there he also has... a pretty big axe. So, what? An axe. Oh, an axe. axe. You're making an axe, axe. not not like axe, like musical axe. Larry or is no. the third bludgeon brother. <laughs> Don't you say that? Don't get him started on those bludgeon brother Harper outfits. Harper Rowan Earthquake. Uh, <laughs> from Pittsburgh to Dubai. You know what? Larry does it I'm all. Not, I'm not going to say anything. Uh, but hold on, uh, Larry, you have a request in the chat room? What's that? Um, Bobby says you need to build him a TARDIS that works. It, what? No, it, what? I, a tar- I think, I'm, ju- I'm just reading. I think we're I'm misunderstanding just, how how he, his production tar- so works. So you want, he wants me to build him a phone booth that actually has a working payphone in it? No, no. A TARDIS that actually travels through time. I can't do that, or Bobby. Or at the very least, lights up. Bobby, I don't believe in time travel, mainly because it kind of kills any good story ever written. And you do have a stance on wrestling, too. Because we were talking oh, yeah. about like you doing yeah. props for wrestling. Yeah, I won't make props for wrestlers uh, because I think I believe in the legitimacy of professional wrestling, and you should hit each other with real chairs. And, <laughs> and making something out of <laughs> foam doesn't work. What if it's like a prop for like an entrance or a mask or something. Oh yeah, I'll totally yeah. make a mask. So if you like want a creepy yeah. mask or some sort, you know, as but a wrestler. It, but if you if you're looking for a foam kendo stick, you can go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good stance. That's a good stance. You, you should make you should make a can a can there you go, Larry. A Canadian dry there you mask. Go. Real kendos or yes. bust. No foam. No foam. No foam on this show. <laughs> There you go. Thank you so much. And thank you, everybody, in the chat room that's been joining us, having a lot of fun with us every Tuesday. You guys join us on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page. Join the Facebook group for Wrestling Mayhem Show. Thank you, everybody that's in there. Bobby, Mike, Matt, Tina, Brandon, Alex, and so many more throughout the evening. We'll see you guys next week. Mayhem out.
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.